today, Spurs legend Manu Ginobili retired from basketball, made the announcement on Twitter. Spent 16 years with the Spurs. He walks away from the game a four-time NBA champ, a two-time NBA All-Star, an Olympic gold medalist, and EuroLeague MVP, but is he a Hall of Famer? Basketball Reference uses a Hall of Fame probability model. It takes into account historical criteria, and it estimates a player's chances. And based on all of that, it has him at 20%. But that's hot garbage, isn't it, Jalen? <laughs> uh, because he is for sure going into the Hall of Fame, isn't he? And a lot of people take for granted this the Basketball Hall of Fame. So it's the totality of everything he's accomplished, in particular his international experience. So I definitely, based on that belief, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Would you, if you had to name best six man over the, over the course of the years, where would you put him? He's in the conversation. Um, Jamal Crawford has won the award three times. Manu Ginobili has been in a different position because Pops keeps the minutes down during the regular season. You know this better than anyone. But at the moments where he's come up big, it made me write down a couple, and I wanted to recall as All a right. Spurs fan Let me hear it. what you think of or oh, what, what you were of. doing when these plays happened. Oh, wow. How about in 2005, okay. Game 7, Detroit Pistons, uh -huh. Romano scored 11 of his 23 points. I love it. I love it. In the fourth it. quarter. You yep, remember that yep, one? Yep, yep, yep. Go on. Okay. What, like about the, what about the block on James Harden? That was a – because everyone – you know, he's old man Ginobili. People didn't think he still had it in him, and he still had it in him. What about the dunk on Chris Bosh? Uh, that's just a, a mismatch in size that makes everybody root for the <laughs> underdog. So, of course, yeah. Game winner against the Golden State Warriors, 2013 Western Conference playoffs. Do you have my favorite one on there? I mean, it's basically the whole game, but it's 2014 Game 5. That was the one where I think I lost my mind. In a comp By the way, 100% sober. Lost <laughs> my mind. I had never been so excited to see anything in my entire life. This game, you know, this Spurs team was fueled that year off of the bad taste left in their mouth from the year before and the Ray Allen three and everything that went down there. And then this, uh, it is just, we watched this guy. Look, I, there, yep, I, I'm literally losing my mind. Like, <laughs> I was not lying about that. Um, it, he, I feel like he entered San Antonio almost as if he was already a vet leader. Mm -hmm. He leaves as one of the all-time fan favorites. He's established such a great place for himself in that community. I, they, it's hard to name guys that they've loved more. He is definitely on that short list of guys that fans have genuinely cared for at the course of his career. And I'm stoked. My, my new Sad. hair was a problem. For sure. <laughs> but some superlatives that, that we use for a lot of athletes, I wanted to write down for Manu Ginobili, okay. and they actually apply. We know he's a champion. Yep. But how about him being clutch? Yep. How about him being tough? Yep. He's really crafty. We talk a lot about the Euro step, and I know that Sharunas Marcelonis was initially the person that brought that to the NBA, but he kind of revolutionized it playing on that big stage. So as a guy that's been a six man that could have easily been a starter, another term is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. His ego never played into the San Antonio Spurs scenario where it became a distraction. I'll come off the bench, and Tony can be the primary ball handler when he's out there, but when I come in, then it's all downhill pick and roll actions, playmaking for other people. He's a terrific performer. I think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Manu leaving is, is the last chapter of what once was that Spurs team. It's, it's a completely new era. It's very interesting to me. Um, and sneaky funny. He is a sneaky funny guy. And I say sneaky because maybe not everyone's familiar with him, but go back and watch when Tim Duncan retired and they held the ceremony after. He's a stand-up comedian inside of that guy. And also, it almost seemed like he came as a breath of fresh air as it related to the Spurs way and personality. David Robinson was really buttoned up. Tim Duncan was really stoic on the floor. Tony Parker didn't say much. Manu <laughs> was like a ball of fire. And to see him perform as a lefty was a terrific um, career that he had. And again, he definitely deserved to get that Hall of Fame. So that 20%, no? No. Mm. He'll get in. Mm.